Hey Camp, hey Camp Link, how, how are, are you doing, doing today? today? My name is Alex. And my name is Bobby. And we are, we are here, here to, to present a TV, a TV show to you this week. It was a very busy and fun-filled week for the campers. We hope you enjoy our show this week. Now over to Zach and Hannah who are interviewing Mr. Forster for the Classroom of the Week interview. Hi, my name is Hannah. My name is Zach. And we are going to be interviewing Mr. Forster today. What are some of the concepts we we learn in science? We've done a number of activities involving chemical reactions, building and designing objects using things such as cardboard, um, masking tape, and newspaper. And we've done activities in all the genres of science, life science, earth science. And we try and, and involve all those activities during the course of our summer experiments. When did you start teaching science? I first started teaching science 20 years ago in 1997 when I was teaching in Brooklyn. Yeah. What other science projects will we be doing the rest of the summer? Well, right now we only have one more week of science, so we're contemplating a couple things. One is making slime, another is an egg drop, and another is testing our strength to see if we're stronger than an egg. Hmm, sounds pretty interesting, but there's something to it. So those are the couple of things we're thinking about at this time. What do you think about science? Well, I like science, it's all around us, but the one thing I want to do more than anything is when I teach it is to make it fun for the kids by doing hands-on activities that get them excited and maybe, maybe help them want to maybe think about doing something in science, like being a scientist or an engineer or something like that. What is your favorite science project? Um, I did one a number of years ago when we were um, testing adaptations of polar bears and we put our hand in um, Crisco oil and we put it in freezing cold water and what it does is it serves as an insulation and your hand stays warm and the idea was just to show how polar bears and other animals that live in arctic like conditions stay warm. Thank you Hannah and Zach, that was very interesting. Now over to Yezid and Sarah who interviewed Mr. Zagray for our important person of the week interview. Hello my name is Sarah. My name is Yezid. And today we're interviewing Mr. Zagray for our important person interview. How long have you been in this job position? I've been at Westlake since 2013, so about five years. Um, this will be my fifth school year. Before that, I worked in Canton City Schools for 13 years. So I've been here not long, but I've been doing this kind of work for, for quite a while. What are your job duties? My job duties include a lot of stuff because technology in, in school districts is used every place. So we. I have a team of folks that works with me, three other technicians, and we're responsible for things like websites, the computers you see in the classrooms, the Chromebook cards, the iPads that are used primarily in the younger grades, so kindergarten, first grade, and with some of our uh, special students. Um, and we have to make sure all the stuff that makes those things work well, works. So there are servers that need to work so that your logins work and that the stuff you create on the computers is safe. Um, so we have also have to do passwords, the wireless stuff that makes those connect to the internet and the servers. Um, we're responsible for making that work. We make sure that the software is loaded and working. It, there's a bunch of stuff. If you look around my office, you can see on my whiteboards that there's titles and each of those titles goes with um, categories of job duties like infrastructure, instructional resources, that's the most important thing to do, is make sure that uh, teachers and students like Sarah and Yasin have the things they need to learn and teach. What is your favorite part about your job? Um, my favorite part is the team of people I work with. Not just, uh, of course, the technicians that work with me are fantastic. Eric and Ron and Patrick do a great job for the, for the students and, and teachers of this district, but it's also the, the team of people uh, that I get to work with in a bigger sense, so working with some great teachers um, and other district level administrators, um, some of you whom I think you've already interviewed for other important people interviews. It's, it's a great place to work because the parents, the kids, and the people that work here are 
so wonderful. Thank you. What are the challenges of your job? All right, so the biggest challenges are um, centered around the most important part of what we do. I already mentioned that those instructional resources are, are the most important because that's why we have schools, right? Teaching and learning. Um, the, so the, the most difficult part of the job or the most challenging part of the job is making sure that there's enough of those things and the right kinds of those things are available for your teachers so that when you go to the classroom, that things work the way we'd like them to work. If you could change anything about your job, what would it be and why? These are great questions. Um, if I could change anything about my job, I've already told you what a great place it is to work, so I wouldn't want to change that. Um, this one, you gave me the questions ahead of time, and this is the only one that I couldn't have. I didn't come up with a great answer ahead of time. Change. I, I, I wouldn't describe it as a change. The places I'd like to see improvement are again related to um, instruction. I would like to see, and we will see, an increase in the kind of instruction with technology that we know it works for kids. So we want to see um, instruction that is kind of in the constructivist manner, and what that means is where kids and teachers are using technology to create and do things like you're doing with these videos. Um, and we want to see that in classrooms. So it's not a, necessarily a change, but an improvement, a continued improvement in the way we deliver instruction with computers. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. And now, now back to the studio. Thank you, Sarah. Right. Yes, and that was super insightful. And now over to Katrina and Rizik, who are going to give you our week in review. Good morning, Good morning Camp, Camp Link. Link. My name is Rizik. And my name is Katrina. And, and we, we are here, here to show you what we did in camp, camp this week. This week was a fun one for campers. In science, we put skewers through a balloon to see how far we could push it in without popping the balloon. In gardening, we had a guest speaker who talked to us about gardening, how to take care of plants, and that answered many of our questions. In art, we had a color mixing practice and painted a color wheel. For our field trip this week, we went to the Natural History Museum. On the trip, we saw a bunch of animals, dinosaur bones, and gems. And we got to see if our names are stars. We also saw live animals and got to play on a replica of a stegosaurus. It was a lot of fun. We were also able to watch the younger camp put on a talent show. It was adorable. We hope, hope you enjoyed, enjoyed our week in view. And, and now over to Jackson, who has a message for our viewers at home. home. Hey, Camp Link. My name is Jackson, and I am the director for TV show this week. We want to thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your week. 
Stay tuned because we have a lot in store for you next week. This is Jackson signing off.